नमस्कार आई एम प्रोफेसर एम पी पूनिया वाइस चेयरमैन ए आई सी टी दी इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट विच आई बी डिस्कसिंग रिलेटेड टू नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी एंड दैट इज रिलेटेड टू टेक्निकल एजुकेशन इट इज मल्टीपल एंट्री एंड एग्जिट ऑप्शन फॉर एवरी स्टूडेंट दे कैन एंटर एनी टाइम इन टेक्निकल एजुकेशन दे कैन एग्जिट एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज सर्टन लेवल ऑफ क्रेडिट सर्टन लेवल ऑफ लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर डिसाइडेड so at every stage of exit students will be getting some options with certain level of credits which they have earned and the learning outcomes which is which are most essential for serving the society when we are saying an engineering graduate or technic uh, graduate which is coming out from technical education first and foremost attribute of that graduate is he should be technically sound second one he should be professionally competent and third one his knowledge should be relevant to society for the betterment of the society huge technical education system we are having in the country after china china is producing around 1.2 million engineering graduates every year and from our system the system which aict is regulating from that system around 1 million engineering graduates they are passing out their their four year program and they are ready to serve the society so huge technical education system but there were certain level of of restrictions also once the students were entering into engineering education it was for four years program some of the students they may not be having much much interest into that that or the options which were available either it, it was failing or successfully is going out in between there was no option but certain level of restrictions family restrictions the financial problems or clarity into the fundamentals of those areas certain level of connect to industries was also required it was being said that our doctors are more competent as compared to our engineering graduates and one of the reason for that was that our medical colleges are connected to hospitals in the morning time students are studying their academic concepts and evening they are going into the hospitals for treating the patients so whatever knowledge they are getting same knowledge they are applying um, with the latest diseases which which patients are having but that sort of connect in our technical education system it was not there and due to that one industries were many a times they were saying that the graduates which are being groomed into technical institutions they are not according to their requirements first and important suggestion they were giving about the fundamentals of the students fundamentals will be cleared first if they are studying into their own languages which is our indian languages and every state more or less every state is having different language in our country so the fundamentals were not so clear to them because the language of education was only one universal language that is english but because students were coming from varieties of the areas from varieties of of the backgrounds their family status their location of their um, schools where they were studying so that constraint was there and national education policy is saying that the education it has to be imparted or at least option it has to be given to the students so that they can learn into their mother tongue so in national education policy important part is mother tongue and second one the industries are saying that concepts are not clear so industries need also it is getting fulfilled if education is imparted into the, the regional languages or the indian languages and second one industries were saying that advancements which are taking place in technical education they are taking at a very rapid pace so the students should be able to cope up with all those requirements which industries are having so in national education policy the stress was being given that the exposure to the students into the industries it has to be given in the form of some internship in the form of providing knowledge into the advanced areas the emerging areas like artificial intelligence data sciences cyber security robotics 3d printing ar vr in those areas the knowledge it has to be provided when we are providing this sort of knowledge certainly industrial connect is very very important whatever theoretical knowledge we are giving inside the classes if that knowledge application of that knowledge if it is not clear to the students the objective of that that education if it is not clear to the students or outcomes are not clear then certainly their confidence will be lower so this entry and exit option through this national credit framework which is proposed into national education policy and which it has been implemented by aict that freedom now the gap which was there between industry and our academic institute that that gap is getting fulfilled 
Another thing in technical education is technical education itself is starting from schools and going up to higher education. National education policy is saying that school education, higher education, vocational education it has to be connected, it should be interconnected and I am saying not only these three school, the, this vocational education, higher education, even industries also it has to be connected. So, that scope it, it has been created through this entry and exit options, school level when students are at class 8th, then we are giving level through national credit framework that they are at level 2, class 5th is level 1, class 8th is level 2, 10th is level 3 class 12th is level 4. So, school levels are defined in national credit framework it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and higher education it is from 4.5 and it is going up to 8, 8 is PhD, 7 is masters program, 6 is UG program with 4 years. This is if research component if it is getting added into this one that is 4 years program it may be in, in terms of honors also and 3 years UG program in technical education we are saying it is bachelor of vocational education. 2 years technical education program after class 12th it is undergraduate diploma. 1 year only even 1 year education after 12th if you are giving in technical education and if student is exiting he will be exiting with some certain level of certificate of success. It is undergraduate certificate. Earlier the mechanism the, the rigid mechanism which we are having students are moving from first year, second year, third year, fourth year in between if some obstructions are coming or if he wants to have some exposure to the industries or if some financial problems he is facing if he want to um, do the job into the industries that options were not available. Now, enormous enormous freedom it has been given and the suggestions which industries are saying that the, the practical skills of the students should be stronger, the, the curriculum which institutes are having, that alignment with the industries or the attitude of the students, all sort of suggestions which were coming from the industry side, it is now th that option that facility students are getting when they are exiting from the institute. So, it is not exit, in exit um, actual words it is a lifelong learning one side they were taking some education now when they have gone out it means some skills part they will be taking hands on part it will be enhanced. So, into our academic institute their minds on part is becoming creative become becoming stronger when they are into the industry they are becoming problem solvers and their hands on part is improving and if both we are combining all together institute and um, industries then the sort of attitude which students will have to have the interest which they are having that interest is also getting strengthened. So, this this mechanism which it has been suggested into national education policy and which it has been implemented by AICT hopefully the acceptance of our graduates will be very very high and not only in our country across the globe because the curriculum which we people are proposing it is according to the requirements of the industries and that global requirements global universities Indian universities in technical education more or less our curriculum is same the delivery mechanism is same the assessment system is is same. So, certainly the confidence building of the students with exposure into the industries their core competencies are getting strengthened, even their professional abilities are also becoming stronger and their connect to society, they are becoming social relevant. So, the benefit to the students will be with this freedom across the globe they will be able to move and they should be able to prove that we Indians are something different, their team building abilities, their communication skills, their transparency, their time management their ability to solve the problems in all those areas they are they are getting the exposure and they will become more stable they will their commitment will be announced because their confidence will be quite high. Many a times when we were discussing uh, with the industries even before start of national education policy many suggestions for industries were giving that your graduates are coming out with one mark sheet only and in that mark sheet CGPA is, is written and the, or the particular branch it is written. Industries were saying that we are not much interested into the branch or the mark sheet which they are having. We are interested that what exactly they are able to deliver the learning outcomes of their education in terms of their innovative skills, in terms of their ability to analyze, in, in terms of ability to synthesize the, the problems, solve the problems in those areas what they are able to do. Industries were saying we are interested into those attributes of the graduates. So, again beautiful vision of the national education policy is it is 
based on the learning outcomes the outcomes of the education it may be school education it may be higher education important part is learning outcomes and learning outcomes will be enhanced if the students are getting exposure the internship the industrial exposure the exposure into the research organizations the global exposure if that sort of mechanism which it has been suggested if it is implemented in toto so the quality of the education that will be certainly very high if quality will be improving then the access and equity part in the education because access of this trend in to this this education will be much more if acceptance are of the graduates are higher if quality is better then certainly more students will be attracted towards the, the, the technical education here access will be increased the gross enrollment ratio will be enhanced and according to the needs of every student because equity is that every student is different and if that sort of environment can be given to the students in which he can he can progress in a much faster way that is equity so that faster way we have provided in terms of autonomy which we are giving the subjects which they are able to select or inside the institute the facilities which are being given or the orientation of the teachers to giving or the enhancing the equity to the students all the efforts which are being done through aict or which it has been proposed into national education policy certainly we are becoming more accountable implementation of national education policy is accountability of everyone is enhancing as a regulator we are becoming more accountable because the connect of our strengths for the betterment of the society if they are unable to prove then certainly we have not done the justice so accountability also it will be there and that will be a great help to the society in national education policy important dimension which i am saying the learning outcomes that is in terms of the engineering and science knowledge which they are having and application of that knowledge for solving the problems development of the solution doing innovation and providing that those sort of complex problem solutions which are and as the, the atmanirbharta of the country they will be becoming the part of improving the uh, gdp of the country and for that purpose they let like to have strong concepts with them strong ability to use the modern tools of the education and in the national education policy also it is saying that competency of the teachers also it has to be announced the freedom to work into into their organizations ability to solve the problems of the students they should become facilitator and the education should become students oriented so giving that sort of exposure to the teachers we are imparting continuous um, training to the teachers related to the assessment or related to emerging areas even we are making it is mandatory to, for the teachers that they should go into the industry they they also should take internship into the industries and same time teachers orientation towards the, the industry needs and same time the attitude of the teachers if teachers will be having strong inclination towards the the society or if they will be concerned for the betterment of of this whole environment or the aspects of the sustainability or ability to communicate or ability to take the ownership if teachers will be having that sort of attitude or that sort of strength then certainly the strengths will be of that nature and for both important is that lifelong learning and that is the dream of of the national education policy every day is different day every every sort of challenge which it is there in the life that is different so our teachers and students both should become lifelong learners and they should have the ability to solve the problems and 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 most important dimension is values and ethic the, the personality of of teachers their their mindset their dedication their honesty their sincerity and ability to, to learn that is foremost and that's the dream of national education policy while we are designing this credit framework i am saying aict is connected to school education also from class 8 students can go into skilling after class 8 when they are when they are at level 2 if they want to go out from the school education system for taking some sort of skills they can enter into iti they can do one year course some sort of skills they'll be having if they want to come back in school education system they'll be equivalent to class 9th they can move at level 2.5 9th they'll be doing in the school or if they continue in two year that skilling part they'll be having iti certificate if two years one year they are going into school at class 10th certificate they'll be getting and it will be at level 3 again in class 10 there are two options one they can move vertically in school second one again they can exit for the purpose of skilling one year skilling certificate of vocation will be giving after 10 they if they are doing two year skilling if they are doing then will be giving either certificate of iti 
or if he is willing that certificate of 12th class he will have to have then there may be certain level of bridge course and certificate of 12th class they will be having means they will be at level 4 that time. Again if they are continuing with skills for one more year they will be having level 4.5 and that time the additional skills which they are having with the help of that one they will be having certificate of undergraduate certificate with skills they will be having. So, exit entry options connected with school education everything is, is moving smoothly and confidence of the students are continuously increasing. If after class 10th they are going to 11th, 12th and if they are entering into our technical education system. So, one year they will be having 4.5 level one side from diploma side they are coming with undergraduate certificate they are also having 4.5 level. So, both they are equivalent. If continuously they are moving another one year with 12 class students one year experience in engineering um, education and another side polytechnic side they are coming they are now become same one year more they are spending they will be at level 5 and if they want to exit with certain level of learning outcomes which are getting uh, expected by the industries that level 5 they will be having diploma certificate undergraduate diploma. If continuously they are moving into education system 5.5 3 years course after 12th if they are doing or after 10th if 2 years course they are doing they will be having bachelor of vocational and after that continuously if they are moving for fourth year also they will be having level 6 that is BTEC program. This sort of credit framework it has been created with exit options hope this freedom which we are giving to the students it will be changing the face of technical education. Still if they want to have higher education more till uh, after 4 years of education if 1 year more they are spending master of vocational education they will be having another 1 year if they are spending at level 7 that is M tech program. So, they will be becoming eligible for teaching they may in enter into PhD also into the industries many many freedoms they will be having level 8 they will be having PhD degree also. So, the ladder which I am showing here the options which in technical education through unified credit framework system which is available on, on right hand side you, you can see class 10th standard moving vertical they will be having school education it is it is 11th standard certificate or if horizontally they are moving out some skills they are they are taking and they will be having certificate of vocational education they can come into again with, with this um, men's team again if they want to go out or want to move vertically both the options at every level it will be available from class 10th to PhD level they can reach up to level 8. So, this ladder is ladder of success this ladder is a ladder of freedom of every every strength and in time to come the expectation of the industries the environment which are creating into the uh, academic institute as per the suggestions of national education policy where innovation is becoming very important the learning outcomes are becoming very important multidisciplinary approaches are becoming very important and the entry and exit options which are being given to the strengths a healthy environment in education system will be created if higher education is becoming stronger the country will become strong undoubtedly if the young population which we are having a very young population that is roughly 50 percent of our population is less than of 25 years of age they are just like human beings if these human beings if we can convert into strong strong human resource with value based abilities of those strengths if their holistic development can be done into our academic institutes with the help of industries certainly they will be doing miracles for the betterment of the society certain level of gaps they may be having because the conventional system of education which we are having and now we are debating from that one curriculum changes also it has to be done according to that one certain level of gaps if it is being ob observed in learning outcomes the institutes can decide some bridge courses also. So, that sort of freedom will be available with universities that you design some level of bridge courses. So, that the acceptance of graduates can enhance and important dimension into, into the strengths personality it has to be that they should be acceptable they should be employable and when they are going out it is not important that how many years they are spent into the education system important is what they are able to do. So, that um, duration mechanism which we are we were saying that degree is for 4 years or diploma is for 3 years that also may not be important with the flexibility which we are giving with this system. Thank you, thank you very much hope this national credit framework which it has been devised through school education system through skill education system in higher education system it will be getting aligned with international uh, requirements also. So, acceptance of our graduates at international level that will also 
be much more and certainly the human resource in time to come which will be coming out from our academic institutes they will be a strong human resource across the globe and they will be bring happiness over the faces of millions of people across the globe. Best wishes.